start where you're able to comfortably afford, you can always upgrade. Bills is expensive as hell. When you live alone, unenda kulalanja. And it's just going to be something normal. <laughs> so I know you guys are thinking, hey, Ujina Nateseka, she's acting all happy on the gram, Nata, na pesaya food. No, guys, it's because when you live alone, cooking for yourself is a whole task. And sometimes you're not willing to do that task. So make sure you afford where you live. Don't just live in an aesthetically pleasing place that you are struggling to afford, okay? I live below my means, guys. I live below my means move out for you live where you can afford where you are able to sustain yourself in the event that you're paying for yourself sponsor ama your man's is paying for you then that's different make sure you have three months rent but remember deposit is also mandatory so three months rent and deposit which is one to two months are we together do not give the caretaker cash especially if caretaker wenu ni mkora hey what's going on guys it's jean and thank you so much for clicking on this video so if you're a returning subscriber you know the deal stand in line for your hugs your much deserved hugs and if you're new thank you so much for clicking on this video make sure you subscribe because why would you want to miss any of my videos i mean <laughs> So I'm sure you're wondering, hey, today you look nice, ni wewe, ni mimi. So anyway guys, today I'm coming at you with a little bit of a Q&A as well as sharing my experience. So I think it's been two years now since I've been living alone. Two years guys, that is such a big achievement for me and it has been the most beautiful experience. I'm going to get into that shortly. So on top of giving my experience so far, I'm going to answer questions. I asked you guys to ask me on Instagram in case any of you are coming from Instagram. You guys can see my phone. Yeah, so I'm going to be answering those. I think let me start by giving my advice so that once we get into the Q&A, it can flow smoothly. And I'm sure most of the questions will be repeated. So any question that is repeated, I'll only answer once. So I have my book and everything, guys. I have come prepared. I've come with my suit, my books. We are prepared. So first things first, when you go house hunting, what is your reason of moving out? And if you moving out is your choice, then you have to make sure it's reasonable. Make sure you move somewhere that's close to your school or close to your place of work in the event that you can afford it, you know. Not living in Rongai and you work in Westlands. You know, if you're working in Westlands, then maybe you try live in Westlands or of course Westlands is expensive, then you move towards that side. You know, you can go to Kangemi, you can go to Kino. I feel like where you live has to be related to something. Unless you've built. If you've built, then by all means <laughs> work in Athi River and live in Rongai. But if you're renting, why are you moving there? It should be close to something either school work so i went house hunting for three days and that's another pro tip <laughs> pro tip <laughs> as if i'm a professional but that's another tip don't just go one day see one two houses and you're like this is the one so the first two times my boyfriend took me and the third time my friend lasandra took me and that's the time that i actually got my house and i remember when we walked into this house still the house that i'm living in when we walked in, we just gave each other a certain look and we're like, yeah, it had all the features that I was looking for. So this also brings me to my next point, but let's stay here first. It had all the features I was looking for and I was just like, oh, this is so cute. And those things first, when you're going, I was hunting, please don't look the best. My friend, she came in a bedazzled hat looking nice and expensive. I was like, guys, hey, Sandra, unenda kupanya niongeze we rent. <laughs> So that's the thing about rent, it can be negotiated. So when you're looking all nice, of course, don't look beat up, like you can't even afford the place, don't come looking raggedy. But you know, just look toned down. Seem to mwenye ukiono atakwa like, hey, how Mm-hmm. How are you do? So I was like, Lassandra, why are you dressed all fancy? But the thing about my friend Lassandra, she always dresses fancy. So it's just like, that was her everyday errand outfit. So we went house hunting, we looked at a few houses. And then when we looked at this house, I was like, should we continue looking? And she was like, what are we looking for? We found the house and I wanted to pay it immediately. I remember finding the caretaker's number, getting my sister to come and see it. Like, I didn't want anyone to take it. So... 
I was just so excited, but my sister was like, calm down. My sister is a real estate agent, so I know everything that I need to be asking in the event that I'm looking for a house, yeah? So she was like, don't pay anything right now. I'm coming to look at the house, but me, I was just so excited. But anyway, I did try to be patient until she came through. And now, next thing, when you pay, guys, please, please do not give your caretaker cash. I'm so sorry if you're watching this, but our former caretaker was fired because of Vita Beer. There's so many of the tenants here in the apartment who used to give him cash. Kumbe Gaya likuwa na kulado. So, so many people used to pay him cash and the cash was just being swallowed. He used to claim that some houses were vacant, la di da di da. So there's one day people were coming around asking, oh, have you been paying, la da da. So me, I had all my sleeps. Do not give the caretaker cash. Especially if Katika wenu ni mkora. <laughs> make sure you pay to the bank and make sure you keep your receipts. Or if you're paying by mobile banking, then your receipts will stay on your phone. Or even at the bank, you can just pay and they'll reprint for you receipts. So you'll never find yourself in a he said, she said situation. Because it's like, yeah, I paid. And here is the proof. Okay? Another point that I have is that when you're moving out once again all the points i'll be giving is if you're moving out willingly not if you've moved out under difficult circumstances or if you've been chased out if you're moving out willingly make sure you have at least three months rent you have to be on the safe side guys so make sure you have minimum three months rent so when you're moving that is three months rent and deposit or if you're moving to some properties deposit is two months so you're looking at four to five months rent and then you're like okay what is going on here so if you are planning out to move out willingly make sure you have three months rent but remember deposit is also mandatory so three months rent and deposit which is one to two months are we together let me know in the comments if we are together before we continue. Another very key thing when you move out is move out for you. Guys, I cannot emphasize that enough. Move out for you. Live where you can afford, where you are able to sustain yourself in the event that you're paying for yourself. Kaukonaka sponsor, ama your mans is paying for you, then that's different. But if you're fully sustaining yourself, live where you can afford you know people usually say live within your means i live below my means guys i live below my means absolutely below my means because i would prefer to live in a house where i can pay my rent comfortably five months like every month like i'm able to afford five months of rent as opposed to living in a house where i'm struggling to afford one month of rent so move out for you not oh my god what will people think oh my god will it be nice for the gram okay but you know if you're in a job like mine then the gram is your job and your job is kind of to impress people but honestly one thing that i really like about myself is that me was seen a pressure ah, pressure social media seen a pressure so Make sure you afford where you live. Don't just live in an aesthetically pleasing place that you are struggling to afford, okay? I've lived here for like two years and I think on my 10 fingers I can count the number of people who've been here. So it's like imagine if I moved out to impress people and I don't even be inviting people. So you live where you can live because you're always going to have the opportunity to upgrade. So just start where you're able to comfortably afford. You can always upgrade. You can choose to upgrade tomorrow if you want. So don't have pressure. I think those are my main key points before now I start getting into you guys' questions. So I'm just going to start in a random order. <laughs> Off the top, I'm seeing two questions. Does it get lonely? And another one is, do you ever get lonely? And is there peace that comes with living alone? Oh my God, guys. When I tell you living alone to me is the most peaceful thing that has happened to me. I mean it. Living alone is so peaceful. When I first moved out, I used to be a scaredy cat. I can't even believe that I live alone. This is also another question. Someone asked, um, does it get scary? I used to be such a scaredy cat. Like before I moved out, I even had a whole panic attack. <laughs> and I was so scared. Like, will I sleep at night? The sleep that I've been sleeping. Kwanza in my doctor mattress bed. Oh my God. Oh, let's pause. Tell me if you guys would want me to also do a separate video talking about how much it cost me to furnish my apartment because it is an arm and a leg. Nobody has talked about that. 
but anyway it's so peaceful i feel like when i moved out just one two times is when i've gotten lonely kitambo back then and i was just like i'm so lonely nini these days me i'm so busy i'm so busy guys i get too busy to get lonely but okay Sometimes you can be just alone and then you feel lonely but I like my company even in the instances that I am alone. I'm alone but not lonely because I also have so many people to talk to on phone. I can catch up with TV so no I'm rarely ever lonely. The peace of mind that you have incomparable. How did you look for a new place? So I answered this. I went house hunting like I physically went house hunting but you could always look for a real estate agent. <laughs> like my sister or you could go through pages she has pages uptown apartments and Nairobi townhouse or you could always look at other realtors pages as well according to your budget is there any financial plan you made to ensure you don't lack rent <laughs> personally guys and i'm not even lying i moved out when i had one year's rent i've been working a girl has been working forever i've been working since i was 17 i was even working illegally my boss said make sure you don't say your age i've been working since i was 17 and before i moved out i was living with my sister and she had actually just told me that we'll live together for xyz amount of time and then you're going to need to you know find a place of your own which i was completely comfortable with she did not chase me out guys you know people are adults people need their privacy so for like 2 years though i was living i was like remember you're moving out in 2 years remember you're moving out in 1 year remember you're moving out in 3 months so all of my decisions were kind of with that at the back of my mind that and also doing what living within my means so when i found my apartment I had a budget that I was looking to go for. So first things first for me, I had bought quite a number of appliances before moving out. So I knew that a studio was out of the question because my things were more than a studio could hold. When I moved, I already had a fridge, I already had a cooker, I already had a TV, which is also a really good point, which is if you're able to buy your furniture slowly, slowly, slowly before you move out if you have somewhere to put them, then do that because it's so expensive to do at once. So when I came house hunting I had a budget that I didn't want to surpass. So when I got this house the amount was slightly more but it was inclusive of Wi-Fi. So if I got a separate house the house and Wi-Fi kando kando would have been equivalent to this house. So to me I was like it makes sense there's Wi-Fi and it's hella fast so it's like my initial math was still mathing. When did you know it's the right time to move? If that's a personal question then I've already answered it. But if it's you at home, if you find that you just feel you need your personal space, if it's gotten to a point where you guys are always in disagreement, then it's time to move. Where do you get nice quality furniture or home appliances for fast movers? All my electric appliances from my washing machine, fridge, cooker, microwave etc i get from kafo you could always go the second hand route if your budget is a bit tighter but me personally i prefer for all my appliances or even tv and my wifi that i'm just from praising has decided to pause so my fire is not moving wow so i just prefer to have that warranty and know that today when i buy this tv when i live with it kesho Kafo won't be closed, you know. So there's always that guarantee for me that tomorrow <laughs> okay, it's back. Ah, it's back and it's stopping. That if anything happens, I have my card, um TV, fridge. I think you have a 2 year warranty and you know, there's just that assurance that nothing is going to happen. But if you're tight, you can always go the second hand route. Um house appliances, some of mine I've bought. Now when it comes to things like sofas and beds, I can touch on it a bit. My bed and my mattress I've bought, so both are from Dr. Mattress, but my sofa, I had it made. So you can have a mix. When you make something, it's going to be specific to how you want it, your color, shape, design. So that's always a good option and it's also a cheaper option. What's the first item you should get for your house? Now that is different for every person, but if you're moving out for the first first time, mattress if you're able to afford bed 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 and mattress gas everything else pole pole do you get the feeling that it's too soon if yes how do you tell that you are taking the right step yeah before you make any big move in your life you're always going to get that question at the back of your mind like am i making the right decision most times it's yes you're never going to be 100% ready to do anything so just take that leap of faith and go for it oh these are a lot of 
how do you know it's the right time to move out how do you know it's the right time to move out of home how much money do you need saved up i've answered that is 150k too much or too little now that depends you know it can be enough if your rent is let's say 10k and it can be little if your rent is 50k so it depends on you personally and i'm not able to give individual advice because this is just a you know non-personal response video answering your questions but if your rent is like up to 20k then 150k is a good enough budget is it better to buy ready-made furnitures or work with a fundi? <laughs> I've answered that as well. Is it better to move into a house that has post-pay or tokens considering you have usual electrical appliances? My house, I pay tokens. So I don't know, any is better. But I like it because it's down there. First of all, it's downstairs. It's on the ground floor, so it's none of my business. It doesn't tick tick in my house when the units are going low. And yeah, it's, it's, it works, I guess. Do you budget for everything then buy at once or you buy kidogo kidogo then finally move out? I thought I had enough save to buy everything at once but when I tell you things are expensive unless you're like a millionaire you just have to buy pole pole because also you're going to be doing your research slowly slowly till now I don't feel like I've finished finishing my house to be very honest so you could always go the route of going slowly slowly is buying a fridge a good investment or you should buy fresh food on a regular basis? Hey, me, I'm a fridge girl. I have to have my ice cream, honey, my sausages, my hot dogs. I love junk food, so a fridge is very important to me. And also, if your schedule is tight and you need to meal prep, then a fridge would be important. Kukula and Dizzy for supper is not a big deal. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> when you live alone, unenda kulalanja. And it's just going to be something normal. <laughs> Sometimes it just gets so tiresome to cook for yourself, eat, wash dishes. You just, for real, unaiza kulatu ndizi na ulale. Ama you just have juice or you just have snacks. I may have crepes for dinner all the time. And it's just so normal to me. <laughs> Someone is asking for an easier and affordable way to transport things from home to where you're moving to. Let's say Western to Nairobi. I used a pickup because my things weren't that many at that time. How long does it take to feel okay that you're on your own? Me, I was okay from like day two. Can one bargain rent? Yes, you can. Where can I get a good mattress? Affordable. So for me, the route that I took when I moved out was that I was going to get everything quality. So I preferred to not have anything as opposed to buy something that's of the more affordable option and then I'll need to upgrade soon. So from everything that I have, I was like, I'm not buying something until I can afford the exact one that I want, the good quality one. So even my bed, I moved with my bed from home till here until I could afford the bed that I wanted. I didn't just want to buy something for the sake of and that was my rule for this entire house. So I had my bed that I came with from home until I could get my doctor mattress bed and mattress i always knew that when i'm buying a mattress it's going to be dr mattress but that actually came to me in a different way but i'll address it in the furnishing my house video in the event that you guys want to see that or rather how much it cost me to furnish my house i sat on my mattress until i could afford the sofa i want i didn't have a table until i could get the table that i want I didn't buy a washing machine until I could afford a first hand washing machine that I want. So for me, I think I went about it in a different route, which was quality. Quality was everything for me. So no, I didn't go the affordable route, but you could always check online for any affordable route. Best place to live in Nairobi? Kwenye kuna shida na rent iko affordable. You know guys, best place affordable are so relative. There's someone who 50k is affordable to them and there's someone who 10k is affordable to them so you're going to need to do individual research based on your individual capabilities so i don't know what your budget is you know so i'm not able to give advice on that what was your budget for the purchase of your house items because economy please <laughs> once again should i do that video please let me know how's the experience the highs and the lows if any the highs uh, you have all the flexibility you do what you want you eat what you want you furnish your house how you want i remember whenever i was still living with my sister and i used to show her the things i want i wanted initially to buy a pink sofa why the hell would i want to do that 
thinking of it now that should have been a horrible idea but but then i was actually thinking of it and my sister kept saying your house your rules guys today if you decide that you want to paint this wall pink that one blue that one yellow the bedroom maroon nobody will ask you your house you do what you want if you want to have water and sleep nobody will ask you if you want to play music if you want to walk around in your bathing suit nobody will ask you but one thing that's both an advantage and a disadvantage is you're going to find things the way you left them so if you leave a mess if you leave dishes nobody will touch them because so there's nobody to look after you if you're not disciplined that's going to be a challenge because you have to be responsible for yourself the laws bills is expensive as hell <laughs> that's one law i don't think i have any other law to be honest also okay there is also that one other law that if you don't cook nobody cooks for you if you don't wash dishes nobody does it as opposed to when you're living with people or with someone you know you're able to help each other you wash dishes i cook you clean the house today i clean tomorrow and such so guys, I have come to the end of this video. I hope if you're moving out, I have answered one, if not two or all of the questions that you had in mind before moving out. And if there's anything that I haven't answered and you would really like to get the answer to, let's engage in the comments. Everything you want to ask, I'm going to answer. I hope if you are planning to move out and you've watched this video now, you feel ready. You're never going to feel 100% ready to do anything in life or I guess that just might be me i never feel at a today is the day you know so you just have to kind of do it and then you'll get a hang of it slowly slowly if you are planning to move out guys i wish you success i wish you all the best in your house hand it's such a beautiful experience i personally have only good things to say about it it's been a blast and it's continuing to be a blast so yeah thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video if you like it and if it was informative please make sure you drop a big thumbs up like share comment and subscribe if you would like to support my channel because rent is expensive as i said <laughs> my till number and paypal are going to be on the screen angusha kakitu leo kasirika wangushe kakitu sema jean take this by lunch <laughs> Always remember to be you and stay true. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, loves.